Us. First tonight, loved ones are remembering Kathleen Moore, whose body was found today just over a week after she went missing. Just a few hours ago, friends held this vigil in Newport Ritchie, close to where her body was found. Today, a judge denied bond for Moore's boyfriend, Colin Knapp. Knapp is charged with second-degree murder. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline is outside of Knapp's home in Newport Ritchie, which has become an important part of this investigation. Rochelle? Yeah, that's because the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says they found Kathleen Moore's body pretty, pretty close to uh, Knapp's home here on Carmel Avenue. They say she was found in a wooded area, covered up, and in a spot that canine units had searched in the past. I wish to God we could bring her back. She's, in God, she's with God now. She's with the Angels. After hours of speculation, Tuesday afternoon, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office confirmed that a body found in Newport Ritchie earlier in the day was Kathleen Moore. She was about 50 yards northeast of Colin Knapp's home. Knapp was Moore's longtime boyfriend. He's now charged with second degree murder in connection to her death. I mean, it is closure. And actually can come home and we can, you know, we can do what we need to do. The sheriff's office says they still don't know when Moore died or how. And they say investigators are working to answer those questions. But there's one question that Moore's longtime friends and the sheriff's office says only Knapp can answer. Why? Like, right. what could what? she possibly done? Yeah. Why? There's, you know, she didn't deserve that. Not at all. Make it easier on the family. Answer their questions. No, answer the why. While those questions linger, new court documents released Tuesday shed more light on the events leading up to Knapp's arrest. Most likely en route to Pasco was the last communication that we have from our victim. A warrant shows that at 10 o'clock on the night she was last seen alive, Moore texted her roommate about a fight. She said she was being accused of things and that she wished she could find a nice guy to be with. And when her roommate texted her back, she didn't respond. He didn't treat her right. And we used to tell her that all the time, like, you deserve so much better, so much better. According to the document, Knapp also gave detectives conflicting stories about that night. He apparently told them that he and Moore had gotten into a fight because he was too drunk to drive her to get food, and she stormed off. But then, 30 minutes later, he was caught on surveillance video driving to his job at a nearby restaurant to do a meat inventory. After searching a dumpster belonging to that restaurant, the sheriff's office says they found a bloody sheet, mattress cover, and comforter. They also say they found clothes belonging to Knapp with Moore's blood on it, her car keys and credit cards, and the sweatshirt she was last seen wearing. We come together for peace for Kathleen Moore. As the community mourns, those who loved her say they're choosing to remember her at her best. Life of the party. Great smile. I mean, she was there for everybody. And Moore's friends also tell us they'll be holding other vigils and memorials over the next coming days to continue to honor her. In Pasco County, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.